स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन टू द अवल एकेडमी ऑफ एजुकेशन इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हेयर विद आई सी एस सी क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट इज मैथ्स चैप्टर इज फोर दैट इज रिलेटेड टू एलजेब्रा इन एलजेब्रा लीनियर इन इक्वेशन बुक इज अगेन बाय बुक इज एम एल अग्रवाल राइट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग इन टू द चैप्टर एज यू नो वी डू सम बेसिक्स ऑफ द चैप्टर सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेल द चैप्टर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट हेयर विद सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो चैप्टर इज अवर चैप्टर इज लीनियर इन इक्वेशन राइट लीनियर इन इक्वेशन सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग इन टू चैप्टर लेटस अंडरस्टूड what is equation what is an equation right so what is linear equation so linear equation is an equation involving one variable with highest power an equation linear an uh, equation involving one variable with highest power one is called a linear equation in that variable right so to understand this let me take an example suppose i write 5x plus 7 equal to 22 so this is an equation with highest power 1 right so it has a sign of equal right this side is known as lhs left hand side and this side is known as right hand sides this sign of equality divides it into two sides right left hand side and right hand sides right so students this is linear equation now we are able to understand linear in equation so linear in equation is a statement of inequality between two expressions is called linear in equation let me give an example of it if i write 3x and here 7 so here in linear equation it was sign of equal equality right so here a, there would be a sign of inequality inequality means either smaller or greater right this is an example of linear in equation i write 5x minus 2 this is also an example of is greater than 11 and uh, in equation or if i write 2x greater than or equal to 8 minus 5x this is also an inequality or if i write 3x less than or equal to 0 this is also an uh, linear in equation right so here uh, in your chapter we are going to 
learn one more thing that is linear equation linear sorry in equation in one variable right so linear in equation in one variable so a statement of any of the forms a statement of any of the following forms is called linear equation in one variable which are these forms first is if i write ax plus b is greater than 0 number second ax plus b is less than 0 number third i write ax plus b greater or equal to 0 number 4 if i write ax plus b either less than or equal to 0 what are these where in these where a and b are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 so what would this i call uh, I would call this a linear equation in X. Right students? So we have to keep in mind all these four things while solving questions on linear equation or inequalities these four terms right so students you have to keep the following things also in your, uh, in your mind we will have to cope up with them again and again, again so what is this what are these number one is n so n is what is n set of all numbers all natural numbers so set of all natural numbers one two one two three four and so on right next thing is w w is set of all whole numbers all whole numbers are including 0 1 2 3 4 and so on right so next is Z Z is set of all integers integers are and 
dash 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 dash 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 so set of all negative integers is called z minus and positive integers is called plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 z positive right next is next is q what is q q is set of on rational numbers that is in the numbers in the form of p upon q right or 1 upon 2 3 upon 4 5 upon 6 dash 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 right and so on right where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 right so these are the common things which you should have to be you should have to remember right so students next thing you have to keep in mind is the replacement set so replacement set is the set from which the values of variable x satisfying a given inequality are chosen right the set from which the values of a variable x satisfying the given inequality are chosen is called a replacement set so second thing you have to keep in mind is the solution set so solution set is the subset of the replacement set solution set is the subset of this replacement set consisting of all the values of variable x which satisfy the given equation in x for this we have taken an example to explain these two terms replacement set and solution set so find a solution set of the following linear inequation right so the linear inequation is x is greater than 7 where the replacement set is given is a equal to 5 6 7 8 9 so we have to find the solution set from the this linear equation right replacement set is this so replace uh, so solution set is a subset of the replacement set consisting of all the values all the values of variable in r 5 6 7 8 9 so solution set would be set would be we will write it in dotted bracket so x is a set a where x is greater than 7 right so in solution set we have to keep the values which are greater than 7 so here replacement set 5 is less than 7 not 6 is less than 7 and 7 is equal to 7 so these three values are would not be included in the solution set so bigger values 7 than 7 are 8 and 9 so our solution set would be 8 
and 9. So solution set is x is such that uh, a uh, such that a uh, 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 x is such that uh, it is greater than 7 so this values would be 8 and 9 right x is set a where x is greater than 7 this greater than 7 values are 8 and 9 only right so we will take another example to explain more of this so find a solution set of the linear equation where x is less than 9 and where the replacement set is n so n is set of natural number so our solution set here would be equal to x is set of natural numbers and such that x is less than 9 right so we will take all natural numbers less than 9 in it yeah uh, means natural numbers up to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so less than uh, uh, 9 na all natural number less than 9 we will take it in right suppose i give another example for explaining this find the solution set of the linear equation where x is greater than minus 5 and where the replacement set is set of negative integers that means z minus so our solution set here is going to be x is a set of negative integers means z minus such that x is greater than minus 5 right so we will take here the negative integers greater than minus 5 so in minus smaller numbers are greater 4 is smaller than this 5 but with negative sign it becomes greater than this so minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 so this is our solution set so <coughs> these are the explanation of solution set and replacement replacement set and solution set i have given to you right students so next so students after understanding the replacement and solution sets we will now do some properties in inequalities or in inequations right so as i have you told there are four forms of linear inequations these are given here so now we will do some properties so if a is greater than b and b is greater than c then this a would automatically become greater than c right please keep these properties in mind these are uh, these are going to be very useful for solving this chapter number second property is adding the same number 
to each side of an inequality does not change the in inequality if i have an in equation or inequality like a is greater than b right then i add some positive numbers the same number that is m m to both sides a plus m b plus m does this inequality changes no this would not change this would be ineffective right so in the same way here a is greater than b here if i write a is smaller than b and then add the same number m on both sides the inequality or in equation would remain the same that is a plus m would be smaller than b plus m as a is smaller than b right next so now the next operation is subtraction subtracting the same number keep in mind same number from each side of an equality it does not change the inequality so if i uh, this is the inequality or in equation i subtract the same number m from both sides of it then the inequality sign of inequality would not change it would be remain it would remain greater right here as it is here here is it is greater here it would also be greater after subtracting the same number a minus m would be greater than b minus m so in the same way if a is the uh, less than b say uh, here it was greater here it is less then same number subtraction would not affect the this sign it would remain the same the in equation would remain the same that is a minus m would be smaller than b minus m now next operation is multiplication multiply multiplying each side of an equality by a positive number keep it in mind positive number does not change the inequality here also the inequality would not be changed if an equality a is greater than b and m is any number greater than 0 that is i have said here positive number then any number greater than 0 is a positive number right then if i multiply a with m and b with m then the equality would not change right here it is greater equality uh, uh, sorry greater inequality here it is smaller inequality a is smaller than b and m is any positive number the number greater than 0 is positive so then if i multiply a m b a with m and b with m the inequality would remain the same right as it was here that is a m would be smaller than bm so up to here there are no changes in the inequality now next here multiplying each side here also multiplication each side of an inequality by a but the number is a negative number right reverses the inequality here it is very important keep it in mind reverses the inequality if the inequality inequality a is greater than b any number is smaller than 0 would be a negative number so m is a negative number and if i multiply it with both sides of inequality am a into m b into m then the in sign of inequality would change right here it is greater here it would after multiplication with a negative number it would become smaller in the same way this is a is less than b and m is a negative number that is m is less than 0 right so then if i multiply a with m that is negative number and b with m the sign of inequality would change here also important here it is smaller a is smaller than b and am that is the result would become greater than bm right so
सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज डिवाइड डिवीजन डिवाइडिंग ईच साइड ऑफ एन इक्वालिटी बाय ए पॉजिटिव नंबर डज नॉट चेंज द इन इक्वालिटी ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी एंड एम इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो दैट इज हेयर एनी नंबर ग्रेटर देन जीरो इज ए पॉजिटिव नंबर देन डिवाइड ए बाय सेम नंबर एम डिवाइड बी बाय सेम नंबर एम so there would be no change in inequality it would remain the same a is greater b the product uh, would uh, result would be same a upon m would be greater than b upon m now if a is smaller than b any number positive number divided by any positive number then the result would also be same a is less than b and division would a upon m would be less than b upon m now next dividing each side of an inequality by a negative number right reverse is the inequality here again reverse feel fifth point it was reverse seventh also reversed multiplying each side of inequality by a negative number so if a greater b is an equality and m is any negative number that is m is smaller than 0 is a negative number and we divide this with this inequality a upon m b upon m here it is greater here it uh, result would become smaller right so in the same way here it is uh, a is less than b here would become greater than b after division by a negative number right next so next is taking the reciprocal of taking by taking the reciprocal of each side of an inequality reverses the inequality so if a is not equal to 0 b is also not equal to 0 and a is greater than b if i we take reciprocal of this one upon a One upon b, then it it here it is a is greater than b. Here one upon a, one upon b, uh, one upon a would become smaller than one upon b. So there are three conditions where the sign of inequality changes. Number eight condition taking reciprocal, and number fifth condition multiplying with. Uh, negative number and dividing each side of inequality by a negative number reverses the inequality please keep in mind these three numbers while solving the questions so let us start these were some basic things so let us start our exercise that is exercise 4 right so students before proceeding to the exercise let me uh, explore you the procedure to solve linear equation in one variable so that you may not uh, feel any difficulty so first of all simplify both sides of the inequality or in equation uh, so the linear in equation here linear in equation is so simplify both sides of the linear in equation or in equality by removing group symbols and collecting like terms right and number second you have to do is remove fractions or decimals by multiplying both sides by an appropriate factor right that is find lcm of the denominators or in case of decimals a power of 10 in case of decimals right number third you have to do it isolate all variable terms on one side of the linear inequality or linear inequation and all constants on the other sides right collect like terms wherever possible when possible 
right and in case of coefficient make the coefficient of the variable one right and always choose the solution set from the replacement set right students so this was few these were few basic things you have to keep in mind now let us move on our exercise so students our first question is solve the inequation 3x minus 11 less than 3 where x is a set of numbers 1 2 3 up to 10 natural numbers up to 10 also represents a solution uh, set on a number line solution on a number line so solution first so students here what is given 3x minus 11 is less than 3 so as I have you told uh, put constant on uh, variables on one side constant on one side and variables on one side by transponding so we will now 3x transport this minus 11 into this side so when this moves from these sides it will become plus 3 plus 11 so 3x is less than 14 x is less than 14 upon 3 right but our replacement set is x uh, sorry we have to write it here but x is a set of numbers 1 2 3 4 up to 10 right so our if or we can write it as uh, x is less than 3 4 z 12 3 4 z 12 plus 2 that means 4 and fraction so our uh, x is less than 4 and fractions so what we have to take x is less than 4 and its fraction right so fraction is more than 4 so we will not take it we will take up to 4 right x so therefore our solution set set would be equal to 1 2 3 4 as per replacement set we have to take the numbers less than 4 4 uh, and fraction right so we will take 4 and it's less than 4 and 4 is less than its fraction so we will take this so now we have to represent its solution on a number line for representing the solution on a number line we will draw a number line like this right students so this is the number line and we are going to put x x dash x dash is minus so here there is no negative number so no need of minus so we will start it from here 0 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so how 
we will represent the graph of the solution set by thick dots by thick dots our solution set is 1 2 3 4 we will put thick dots here 1 2 3 and 4 this is our solution set on the number line represented by these 4 3 uh, 1 2 3 4 thick dots right students next we will move on to question number second so i am putting a line here solution for question number two so what we are given solve 2 x minus 3 less than 1 x is a set of number 1 2 3 up to 10 right so what is given we will write here so given is what 2 x minus 3 is less than 1 and so let us solve it first multiply 2 into x 2x 2 into minus 3 minus 6 less than 1 so 2x less than this transport minus 6 to this side it will become positive 1 plus 6 2x 7 x is 7 upon 2 or we can write it as x is less than 3.5 right or maybe take it in fraction right or just done in the right, 3 to the 1 plus uh, two, 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 but our replacement set is given in the question here x is set of numbers 1 2 3 up to 10 right so but we, our solution set is x is less than 3 and half so what number we would take the numbers less than 3 and half that is number up to 3 so therefore solution set would be equal to 1 2 3 right students so this was our question number second 3 is less than 3 and half right so let us move on to the question number third so we have there is no representation of this question on number line so let us move to question number third so solve 5 minus x 5 minus 4x greater than 2 minus 3x right then again we will solve it by transponding the constant and variables so minus 4 x transport this into this side here it is negative it would become positive 3x is greater than 2 minus 5 so 4x minus is bigger do the operation of minus x greater than minus 3 now students so minus x is greater than minus 3 so here we have to 
take uh, make these positive and while positive doing positive uh, with uh, by multiplying with same number that is minus 1 the sign of inequality would reverse right if we cancel this with this then sign of equality would become this please keep it in mind here the property we have done earlier right but but our replacement set is x is a set of w that means whole numbers right or x is a set of whole numbers whole number means 0 1 2 3 4 dash 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 but we have to take x less than 3 whole numbers less than 3 so then whole numbers less than 3 are 0 1 2 therefore our solution set would be equal to 0 1 2 so we have to represent this solution set on number line again take this number line draw it x and x dash and all numbers are of positive so 0 1 2 1 2 so the our solution set is 0 1 2 so we will make here dot dots 0 1 2 so these dots are our solution set right students so i am going to end this chapter here sorry end this video here we have done three questions plus basics now the video has become long you will get bored so we will do the remaining questions in the next videos try to solve in the one video or two as question are 33 so it's end here from now if you have understood this chapter well up to now then please make more likes and shares and subscriptions of our channel if you are facing any problem then you can write it in comments section of our channel we will certainly solve that thank you goodbye